an opening statement? <clears throat> Well, a great way to, to get ACC play uh, started. Uh, thought we did some really good things this weekend, and today in particular, uh, Alex Eubanks threw the ball very well. Ryan Miller, very good out of the pen. We only used six pitchers on the weekend. So our starters did a nice job, and our bullpen did a great job. Um, I thought we ran the bases very, very well today. I thought that was the difference for us offensively. Uh, you know, Chris Williams got it started with a two-out hit after a walk from Jolly. Uh, uh, Weston Jackson, uh, nice job on a hit and run. Uh, but uh, overall, I thought our at-bats were pretty good. Our pitching staff was excellent. I thought we ran the bases very, very well um, and uh, found a way to get a sweep. Guys were playing good baseball right now, and uh, we just got to keep it going. Talk about uh, Eubanks' is outing again. It seems like each week now he's getting a little bit stronger and stronger. Yeah, he threw the ball very well today, had command, uh, had really good stuff. Um, you know, he's, uh, he's a bulldog. You know, he's a guy that is extremely aggressive. He pitches with a really quick tempo. So, uh, you know, as a hitter, you don't have uh, very many comfortable at-bats against him. As soon as you put your feet in the box, he's throwing a pitch. So he, he kind of controls the tempo of the game and uh, of the at-bat of the hitter. And uh, he, he did that today. He did a good job of moving the fastball in and out. He had command of all of his pitches and he didn't make very many mistakes up in the zone. Uh, so, uh, you know, he, he was as good as, as he could have been uh, today. And, and Ryan Miller was really good too. So uh, both guys just very, very aggressive with their fastballs and pounded the strike zone. Coach, it's uh, six, uh, six in a row, 11 and 12, 12 and three after 15 games. I mean, is this where you would have wanted this team? Well, I think if you, uh, you know, if you look at it, you know, through 15 games, if, if we're sitting at 12 and three and three and zero in ACC play, would you sign for it? Uh, sure. Um, but I think you know the the thing for me is consistency. It's just about showing up every day and trying to put together um, you know a great game, a great plan lineup wise, a great plan on the mound defensively, base running, just trying to play complete baseball. And uh, I still think there's things that we can do better. Uh, so we're definitely not content. We're very happy. Uh, with the consistency of baseball we're playing, uh, but I still think we have room to grow and, and play even better. But, uh, you know, the leadership on our team is very good. Our pitching staff has been outstanding. Andrew Cox and some of our older players on the team have done a nice job of leading our team, and that's what it's going to take. It's going to take the older players uh, bringing consistent leadership day in and day out for our team to play the type of baseball that we want to play. Jordan Green's been outstanding out at second base. Do you think we'll see maybe a little bit more of that combination, Jordan at second, maybe Grayson at third a little bit? Well, you know, we're definitely going to try some different things. I think that Jordan uh, definitely deserves, you know, again, to, uh, to continue to play. And, uh, and uh, you know, we're just trying to, to see what we can find over at third base right now between Cromwell and Bird, put Bird over there today. They're both very good players. Um, we just want to try to try to get those guys going, and I, you know, thought it'd be a good day to try to change it up a little bit and get Bird back in the game uh, and slide him over to third base. Uh, but yeah, Jordan has played very, very well. He's been very good defensively. Has good at bats. You know, didn't have any hits today, uh, but he lined out hard to shortstop. Uh, so uh, you know, he's doing some good things for us. Lonnie, what's been the difference with the pitching this season? as compared to last year? Is it just experience? Do you chalk it up to that, or is there just something different about them and what y'all guys are doing? Well, I think that experience plays a big factor in it, uh, but I also think that guys understand in year two after year one what it takes to be successful. And, um, you know, it's kind of like our offensive approach and our pitching approach are very, very similar. Um, in that, with our offensive approach, we try to get as many guys on base as we can. And with our pitching approach, we're going to do everything we can to force the offense uh, to earn their way on base. And, uh, you know, I think our guys understand that <clears throat> you have to throw strikes if you want to pitch at Clemson. And we're going to pound the strike zone, and we're going to attack hitters. And, uh, you know, that's just the way it is. And if you want to be in our lineup, you have to be able to put together good at-bats. And you got to be able to play a position. you got to, you got to be able to play your position and make the routine play. We just, at the end of the day, um, that, that's what it boils down to, is you got to beat Clemson. And, and that's the kind of team that we want to put on the field. It's a team that, 
if somebody's going to beat us, they got to beat us. We're, you know, we're not going to beat ourselves uh, by walking guys and, and, and not playing good fundamental defense and, uh, you know, those types of things. That's what we're trying to get to. Are we there? I'm, I don't think we're there, but I think we're getting closer to that. And I think our guys understand what we're looking for as coaches and what we want them to do. And they're doing a really good job of buying in and competing as hard as they can uh, to do what we want them to do. Tinkering with the lineup just a little bit to try and find a, 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 a spark or something that fits. But pitching-wise, do you feel like you're right where you want to be, that everybody's in their right spot? Um, I think so. You know, I, I think that it's hard, uh, bullpen-wise, uh, to get everybody in there. Uh, you know, that's, that's a good problem to have. You know, it's a good problem to have when you have some quality arms in the bullpen that probably are not getting as much work as you would like or I would like for them to get. Uh, but that's just because, again, um, you know, the guys when they come in the game are doing such a good job that, you know, we're kind of rolling with a hot hand, so to speak. Uh, so, I mean, we only threw six guys the whole weekend. When you're getting quality starts, you get a start like today where your starter goes seven innings, it's going to limit the opportunities for the bullpen. So. Uh, but that's a good problem to have, and we're trying to do a little bit of that with the lineup. You know, we're trying to give some guys opportunities, uh, try different things, uh, but we also, you know, want to stay uh, as consistent as we can. So, uh, but, you know, overall, I'm very pleased with where we're at pitching-wise, and, and I said that at the beginning of the year. I thought our bullpen would be a strength. I really did. I just saw quality arm after quality arm in the fall, guys that were capable of pounding the strike zone and executing pitches, and I thought that it would be a strength of ours, and it certainly has been up to this point. Preseason, you had high expectations for Ryan Miller. Mm -hmm. How do you like his progress so far? He's been very, very good. I mean, I, I think when you look at Ryan Miller, when the season started, he was at 10 months post Tommy John surgery. I mean, we anticipated Ryan, when he came here in the fall, being able to pitch for us by April 1. I mean, that's kind of where we thought, you know, he would be ready to go. He'd be at a year at that point. Well, you look at how he's thrown, and we're not even at April 1. So, I mean, to me, it's amazing what he's doing. Uh, just because, you know, this kid is, is pitching at the level that he's pitching, and uh, he's not even a year removed from Tommy John. So, uh, to me, it's, it's pretty amazing to see that kid and be able to come out and, and, and do what he's doing. Do anything about Yale? Um, no, not yet. You know, I know John Stupers your coach, and I played him before. And uh, he pitched in the big leagues, and he's a great guy. And uh, that's about all I got right now. Uh, so I don't know very much. I hadn't even looked at Yale. You know, I don't. I, I never look ahead. You know, I just worry about today, trying to find a way to put the best team on the field today and win today. And, and we'll start looking at Yale uh, probably later uh, tonight and into tomorrow. Start scouting them and, and figuring out kind of what they have to see.